Next, we're going to talk about the syllabus. This has, you know, most of the important information about this course, like your grades, like how do you make up for a missing test? Can you submit late work? So we're going to talk about that. You can download the syllabus through Blackboard. Um, so this is what you will see on Blackboard, right? So just go to the left side where it says syllabus and course information. This is where you can download the syllabus. So I have already have one open. Um, the, the syllabus is quite long and there's really nothing I can do about it because we are required to put all the policies in the syllabus. So I'm going to highlight a few important areas and I'm going to ask you to read the rest of the syllabus so that you are familiar with all those policies. All right, so virtual office hours, I already talked about this. You might want to put it on your calendar, whether your phone calendar or uh, your Google calendar so that you don't forget about it, especially if you have you know, any questions you want to ask me. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is that if you can't make it to you know, Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon, uh, I'm available. Uh, you just need to email me to make an appointment. All right. So um, again, if you can't make it on Tuesday, Wednesday, don't think you're just going to miss it. You can't talk to me. That's not true. You can still email me and we can schedule an online meeting. Withdrawal date is September 24th. If you don't think you want to stay in this class, you have to withdraw by this, day, by this date. If you don't and then you just stop doing you know, all the work, at the end of the semester, I'm required to give you an F instead of a W. So you have to withdraw by this date to get a W. EVA, this is for uh, verification of online enrollment. So you have to do this. It's going to be uh, very easy to do. I just you know, made some quiz questions about the syllabus and you have unlimited attempts. So you can get a good grade because this is part of your um, assignment grade. So how do you do EVA? It's all in coursework and I kind of put it on top so you don't miss it. So just click on this link and you can see some multiple choice questions and you have multiple attempts until you get the questions right. So easy points, don't miss it. You can just click on begin and here you go. So there are only a few points that are pretty easy and then you can look at the syllabus, look for that information if you need to. So it's open book. All right, the deadline for EVA is August 21st, so the end of August 21st, which is 11.59 p.m. You will read the learning outcomes, course description, you know, relate to COVID-19, things like that. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. Evaluation, assessment, and course requirements. Lecture is going to account for 70% and lab 30%. So for lecture grade, we are going to have five lecture exams. Oh, let me make it a little bigger in case you don't see it very well. Hmm, why is it not working? There we go. I know some instructors have four lab, four um, sorry, lecture exams, but I think if you do it that way, each exam has too much information, too much for you to study for. So uh, instead of four, I decided to have five lecture exams. It has been working really well for you know all my previous classes. The exam has to be recorded or proctored using Loom. So I will show you how to um, learn how to use Loom. It's just an app that can record your face when you look at the computer and also capture your computer screen at the same time. So I'll talk about that in a, in a few minutes. 20% comes from Lumen. Like I said, uh, you need to do the study plan and quizzes. And for each quizzes, you have two attempts. And guess what? I will take your higher score. So again, two attempts and your higher score will be recorded. I said earlier, um, we are going to have five lecture exams. And usually I assign 60% to 70% uh, for lecture exams. But this semester, since everything is fully online, I think it's a little bit less meaningful to have tests. I don't mean it's not important, but just because the new format. So what I'm doing is, in order for me to know that you have learned, I'm going to have the weekly teaching video assignment. And this will replace some of the percentage from your exams. 
that's good news, right? Because I know most people don't like taking in exams. And this way you have some fun assignment to do and you don't have to, you know, put too much weight on the lecture exams. So the teaching video assignments accounts for 30% of your lecture grade. And that's a really big percentage. It's going to be very simple. Um, I have instructions in the folder in Blackboard where I, I can show you how to find it. But just real quick, the teaching uh, uh, video assignment is just kind of a two to three minute video. You can make it a little bit longer if you want, uh, but at least a two minutes where you are going to pretend you are a, you, you are a biology student, or sorry, where you pretend you are a biology teacher and you're teaching a bunch of high school students important biology concepts or interesting concepts. So I need you to use Loom to record your face and your computer screen. And then you are just going to do kind of almost like a teaching demo, right? You are, you are teaching some concepts. Some people may want to use a cell phone. That's fine too. If you don't have any PowerPoint slides or other things from your computer to kind of help with your presentation. All right, so real quick, you can use your computer if you have PowerPoint slides, uh, then you have to use Loom to record your computer screen and your face. Or you can use your cell phone uh, if you don't have anything in your computer that you need to use. So either way is fine. All right, so this is the teaching assignment. Um, so that's pretty much it for the lecture. I tried to make it easy so uh, you don't have too much to kind of keep track of. So again, every week for lecture, complete Lumen materials and do the weekly, the weekly teaching video assignment. And that's it. For lab grade, um, again, I really, really have reduced the percentage for exams. So I want you to focus on going through the digital labs and learn something from that. Um, and then you don't have to worry too much about you know, memorizing things so that you're prepared for the exams. I want you to learn and not necessarily memorize things. So the four lab exams only accounts for 30%. I may have some other assignments for you, uh, but right now it's really just the uh, lab activities through the digital labs, through eScience, and then just the uh, four lab exams. So same thing here, lab exams also need to be proctored or recorded using Loom. Okay, grading scale is the same probably for most of the classes. Attendance, this is important. Attendance during the 10% census period. If you're watching the video, that means you have already attended this class during the 10% census period. So you're good, don't worry about that. Now, after the 10% census date, you need to make sure that you complete weekly activities online, right, through Blackboard. If you stop doing online activities for two weeks in a row, over here, two weeks straight, then I have to mark you as stop attending. And you will be dropped from this class. You will have no access to Blackboard to catch up with your schoolwork, your coursework. So this is important. If you know that you're gonna miss class for two weeks straight, you need to let me know, um, you know, why you will be missing work or why you have missed, you know, two weeks of work. And then uh, I can decide whether I mark you or not as stop attending. All right. So again, communication is the key. If anything happens, you can't do schoolwork. Let me know. This section is also important. Make up work, miss assignments, late work. For exams, if you miss um, an exam, that's totally okay uh, because you will have an opportunity to make up that exam at the end of the semester, right? You can also take the makeup exam to replace a lower score. So for example, your first um, exam, you know, the first time you take it, you got 60% and you are not very happy with the grade. So at the end of semester, you can take uh, the makeup exam for number one, um, and then if you get a better score, the score has to be a passing score, meaning it's 60% or higher. 
then I can replace the higher score with the lower score. So I'll put it here, for example, your old score is 60%. Your new score, you know, from the makeup is 70%. Then I will replace in Blackboard the 60% with 7% so that your grade is a little bit higher. All right, so basically it means you will have a second chance to take a exam and get a better grade but you can only do it once. You can only make up for one exam. All right, Lumen quizzes. Now, because of the setup from Lumen website, um, we do not allow late submission. So make sure each week you, you complete Lumen quizzes. For a weekly teaching assignment and weekly lab work, there is a 10% reduction per business day. So the sooner you can turn them in, you know, the fewer points you will lose, right? It's important. If you miss it, don't freak out. You still have a chance to turn in late work, but just make sure you turn it in as soon as you can. For integrity, plagiarism, I will check your exam recording. If there's uh, anything, you know, that shows you are cheating, I've caught two students last semester, uh, you will receive a zero for that you know, particular exam, and I may have to report you to the college. Withdraws and completes, this is important section. I will let you read the information by yourself. So again, remember that September 24th is the last day to withdraw from class. This is the schedule. Uh, the first table is for a lecture. And then if you scroll down to the later page, you will see a schedule for the lab. So let me just go over the schedule real quick. Let's look at the lecture real quick. This is a week and this is the date. So the date is the date for Monday. And then for our course, each week runs from Monday to Sunday. So everything, each chapter starts on Monday and is due on Sunday. This is the uh, assessments or you know assignments that you have, you have to complete for each work. So for example, uh, you know, week one, you need to complete Lumen study plan and quiz one. And we're going to do something fun since I'm, I can't see you guys in person. I want you to kind of practice Loom using Loom to make an introduction video of yourself. So I would recommend you not to use a cell phone because I want you to practice using Loom. So use Loom to kind of tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, it doesn't matter how long it is. It can be as short as 30 seconds. It can be as long as a few minutes, whatever you want to do. If you can do this, I will give you a couple points as extra credit. So you will have extra two extra points added to your assignment grade. And this will just tell you when it's due. Right? Usually this will be due on Sunday of that week, right? Which is um, August 18th, sorry, August the 16th. I don't know why I went a day over August uh, 16th, but because this is the, the first week, I know a lot of students are just, you know, start to kind of settle in. So I'm going to uh, make it a little bit longer. So it's due on August 23rd. So you basically have two weeks to complete um, the first chapter and the second chapter. Okay, now just real quick for week three and the week four, we are just gonna go through one chapter, the important biological molecules. Okay, because that chapter is uh, a pretty big chapter. We're gonna talk about all the important molecules like carbohydrates, nucleic acids, proteins. So I wanna go a little bit you know, slower. So we are going to spend two weeks on that chapter. All the exam dates are highlighted in red. For the exams, um, I mentioned that you're going to take the exam online through Blackboard and record your exam using Loom. Now, for each exam, it's only open for two days, from Saturday to Sunday. So again, the information is over here. Each lecture exam will be open from Sunday a.m. to Sunday 11.59 p.m. So you have two days to complete it. I've tried this uh, with 
uh, all my sections last semester and I didn't have any issues. So I'm just going to stick to the, the dates because it does work better for most of the students because it's a weekend, so some students don't have to work. And also, this is the end of the week because a lot of students wait to study until the last minute. So this will, that will also allow you, you know, to have a little bit more time to study before you have to take the test. So this is lecture. Now we're going to move on to the lab. So this is lab schedule. Uh, similarly, the lab tests are in bold. Um, you can see over here. I should have put them in red. You can do it yourself if you want to. Uh, I guess I didn't highlight them in red. So the lecture, the lab test is also open for two days. So each test will be open from Wednesday a.m. to Thursday 11.59 p.m. So the date is um, based on when the lab activities are available to you. So for lecture, it goes from Monday to Sunday. But for the lab, it goes from Monday to Thursday. Okay, very important. All the lab materials are due on Thursday. And that's because I don't want you to wait until the weekend to work on both lab and lecture. We all have the tendency to wait until the last minute to do things, right? So if I make the lab materials due on Thursday, then this kind of forces you to complete, complete the lab by Thursday, and then you can use Friday to Sunday to focus on the lecture. Um, and also, this has worked really well last semester. All the students uh, you know, did, did it pretty well. So I'm just going to use the same strategy this semester. All right, that concludes the syllabus.